If you want to hear my update for the Partners in Cream project, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. I am super excited to be offering this update to the Partners in Cream project. I have um, been remiss in providing an update, so it's a big one this time around, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as I will giving you these updates. And if you are not familiar with the Partners in Cream project, let me tell you, it was created by Steph Lyons, a good friend of mine here on YouTube. If you watch our channels, you know that we're besties <laughs> on YouTube, and also by uh, Dalin who is also known as Outward Processing here on YouTube. Uh, it, it was their brainchild and it is, aside from the projects that I have uh, created on my own here on this channel, it is my favorite project, panning project, hands down. Uh, if you are intimidated by panning, I would suggest that this, pro this project, I was gonna say this product, this project is probably the most new to panning friendly project there is on YouTube. I highly recommend uh, considering it because uh, most of us have cream-based products. Those products go bad uh, a lot quicker. They're also usually relatively quick to use compared to powder products. And I, I think it's a, it's a very approachable and friendly project. I will stop plugging it, but you know how I feel uh, about this project and uh, and its benefits. I'm going to start off with this liquid highlighter that I have from uh, Tarte. It's the Pro Glow highlighter and I have managed to fold it one more time over which is really cool. Um, I do have a little clip that I use just to know where I'm at with the, with the highlighter and I do really like the fact that it does dispense very, very little product at a time. And to me, this visually, which you'll see in the progress pictures, shows a very big difference in uh, the highlighter. And I have been using it quite religiously. I have it on my cheeks today and I really quite enjoy it. And it's I go between this one and a loose highlighter from Buxom that I use uh, usually on the brow bone. Sometimes I use this on the brow bone, but I find I have to be very precise in uh, positioning of the product, otherwise it, it looks a little bit goofy. So that's why I have the, um, the loose highlighter, powder highlighter as opposed to this today. But I am definitely focusing on it and I will have this done by the end of the year. Um, I'm getting a lot better at using it and more focused. On using it. It's a very good product but if you buy a highlighter like this, even a small package, just like this small package of the EBH eye primer, it lasts for literal years um, and so you need to know that you want to use that product and use it for a long time. Uh, if you tend to get bored with that, maybe this kind of a liquid product is not the right thing for you. It's very potent and it takes a tiny, tiny bit to get the highlighting um, that you would get from the highlighting effect that you would get from any other product. Okay, I like it. I will continue to use it and I am suggesting that I will be done with it by the end of the year. For another cream uh, product that I have going on in this uh, project, I have a lip palette that I introduced, I believe, last update. And I decided, I, I thought I was going to focus on the whole lip palette all at once. And I've changed my approach based on having the experience of using it for a few months. And what I've decided to do is to focus on one lip product at a time. And you can see evidence of that with this product. It, I am wearing the last of it on my lips. It's a very fetching product. I think it goes really well with the eye look. And I'm just cleaning out one pan and my hope, my goal, not my hope, is that I'm going to finish one of these uh, lip products every 
single update. There's not a lot of product in here. They're very creamy, hydrating. They're natural uh, colors for my skin tone. It's a no-brainer to just focus on one, finish it up, and go. And it does come with a, a brush that's about this big um, so that I can go and dig into the corners of the palette. The brushes, uh, there are two of them, um, kind of are housed in here. And they do enable me to get into the corners of each one of the pans and really get all of the product out. When I cannot, with the brush, get any more product out, that's where I consider I'm done. And then I just use a Q-tip to clean it up so that it's not gross looking <laughs> when I give you the update. But by the time I use the Q-tip, I can't get any more out with the brush. And it's just like little residue of, of lipstick tip that's just floating around back and forth on the pan. Um, I am really enjoying that. And the last time um, there were three lipsticks, you'll see this one is disturbed, this one is disturbed, and this one was disturbed. And now I'm probably going to go after one of these, this one or this one, um, because it's already been started for the next um, the next update. And if I really think about it, I'm probably going to keep the dark brown, this one for later, for winter, and I'm probably going to go straight to this one as my next target. I think that's just what makes sense because it's still, uh, it's not too far toward fall yet, so I think I have a chance to use that more kind of a rosy, uh, taupe color uh, before I want to go to something darker. My, my preference definitely pulls to here, but I think this will be much better as a fall color. So um, see if I can get one more month before I go deep into the pumpkin type weather. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what a weird... What a weird segue, but we're going to move on. So one pan done, check, and for next month, I want another pan done. And speaking of pans that are done, this is La Pièce de Résistance. This is the biggest part of the update, and I am very proud. I'm very proud of what I've been able to accomplish. If you are familiar with this quad, you know how long it takes me to finish things in the various pans. Well, do I have a treat for you. Drum roll, please. I have two pans completely empty. This one had uh, the same product as what is in this pan. So I, as you can tell, I've already started working into this pan. This was the same, as I said. And this one had a a set of lipsticks from Urban Decay. I think it was two or three samples of Urban Decay uh, lipstick that I had added back in here. I keep I keep adding stuff back into these this quad um, as a a single palette place to go to focus on panning products. And and this has been a, a very big part of of my success in in panning in the Partners in Cream uh, panning project because I have four products in here automatically that I know I need to focus on. So this one I've just started using. Like I said, I had two of these pans done. Uh, those lipsticks are done. And this one is the Joe Fresh Peach Dream Blush. And last update, I said, when the heck am I going to hit pan on this? It's like the blush that will never die. Well, my wish has come true. And look at that beautiful pan that is going on. And I was not digging for pan. I was going around the circle and, and go, doing my thing. And then uh, partially, I think the product pushed itself around. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm so excited, especially kind of from the side, you can see how uh, deep the pan is. Um, I'm really, really happy compared to what it looked like uh, at the last update. Um, it, yeah. I love this blush. I don't have any issue with using it. I think that I was more so thinking, I just never seem to be making any progress. Is it going to go bad before I have a chance to finish it? That was more my concern because I really love the iridescence of it. It's a peach color base with a gold, just a very, very delicate, gold hue that almost give it gives it like a, a shifting 
um, property on the cheek. It's very pretty. It came in a big stick and I really wish that that color, texture, uh, cream product were still available. So I'm going to absolutely thoroughly enjoy uh, this cream product until it's done. And I will miss it. I will miss it when it's it's gone. It's really good. And it does, it is reminiscent uh, to me of the uh, Nora's Orgasm uh, blush. It really does make me think of that, but of course in, in cream form. Yeah, I, I love this quad. I will refill it when I've got those other two products done. And yeah, very, very happy with it. And finally, I have this little guy, which is a uh, lipstick product that I was almost done with. Um, you'll see that in the progress pictures, I had this much left um, in the, the base of it. And I have scooped out, like I got to the, t to the plastic where I couldn't apply it anymore uh, without basically scraping my lip against the side. And when I get to that point and I really like the color on something, I do depot it into a little pot where I end up having two or three uh, lipsticks in it um, so that I can just use my finger or brush and, and just keep applying it. And that's one of those lipsticks. So I did dig out, I don't know if you can see all that much, I did dig out everything in the container. There's, there was nothing left and I'm quite happy. I ended up really liking this uh, Clinique lipstick. Uh, it was a, a no-brainer go-to. It was flattering for my skin and um, I'm happy. I'm happy I focused on it and finished it. So let's just recap real quick. Lipstick done. One of the pans in this lip palette done. Significant progress on this Tartiste Pro Glow highlighter. And two pans done in the quad for the in the cover effects quad I should say and then one new pan showing in one of the two products left. Let's take a look at the progress pictures and I'll wrap it up at the end. So that's it. Those are the progress pictures. I hope you enjoyed this update and what you saw in uh, the photo reel. And I um, thank Dallin and Steph again for a wonderful project. I think it's fantastic. It's one of the best projects out there on YouTube. And I can't wait to update you next month because I think I'm on a roll on this one. I'm uh, back full force and really happy to offer some uh, some juicy updates. I think Steph would, would be on board with saying juicy updates. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next update. And for that matter, in the next video. For now, take care.